God morning and good morning. Uh, welcome to another episode of Talking Cancer, My Journey, My Way. I am your host, Luis Lopez. Um, thank God for the wake up. Thank God for the wake up. Thank God for the wake up. Um, today is, uh, you know, just another great start to the day. Um, but today I'm going to I'm going to sit here and I'm going to dedicate uh, this particular episode um, to somebody I met through this journey and I only got to meet I only got to meet him once um and it was through a, vo- a phone conversation his name is Hal um we lost Hal yesterday I believe it was yesterday yeah when we got the news um you know it it kind of puts you know just you know life back into perspective a little bit um now how um i met how um in earlier this summer um he is an ex doctor um retired doctor should i say and um you know he heard about me and through a family friend and he heard about my journey um you know, with my decision in regards to chemo and not taking it. And he was, you know, he wanted to talk to me. He wanted to talk to me to try to give me some better insight on treatment and things like that. And, you know, we had a we had a, a, a lengthy conversation about it and, you know, gave him my point of views. Um, he gave me his and we shared um, just mutual understanding from each other's perspective let alone well you know so you know taking you know what he was saying into consideration and in turning around and and making my decision um to not take chemo again um you know my my decision was just it's just my decision Um, And at the end of the day, this thing we call life has no right and has no wrong way for us to, you know, there's no right or wrong. You know, unless, unless you're sitting here and you intentionally are doing something, you know, putting yourself in harm's way. You know, this isn't the case. The case is, you know, we're both trying to survive. That's the thing about it. We have this disease and we're both trying to survive. Now, we're both trying to survive in two different ways. You know? And unfortunately, like I said, There's no right or wrong answer. When your body is ready to shut down, it'll just shut down. You know. But what I do know about Hal um, is that, you know, when he, when we, you know, talked, he he was... um, I felt like as if, as if he was full of life. I felt as if he was a caring human being. You know, and he literally just wanted to give me to kind of just, well, just kind of just put all the cards on the table. So I'm making a sound decision for myself. This is, um, you know, this isn't easy, this journey that we're on. Life just in general is just not easy. Some people have it easier than others, but at the end of the day, the road stops. And the road stops somewhere. Just don't know where. 
you know, this is, um, this is just one of those things. You know, we never want to, we never want to lose a loved one. We never want to lose anyone for that matter. But it's just the cycle of life. But I could say that I met a good man, solid dude, you know, and I was actually hoping or actually wanting to have reached out to him recently because I had been thinking about him Um, and I didn't take that opportunity to reach back out. And this was, I mean, I had just spoke with him. You know, just back in July, I believe. Yeah. So I just want to dedicate this um, to Hal. You're a good guy, man. Uh, Rest easy. No more pain. And, you know, we'll see each other soon. (laughs) On the other side. Anyways, um, to you, your family, your wife, I pray that you have strength to get through, to give you peace of mind, to just be able to move forward, be able to put one foot back in front of the other, and to continue life as I know that he would want you to, you know. He understood. He understood what life was about. And he lived it. You know, so to his family, I pray for you. I pray that, you know, no one has to go through this journey of pain. But it's unfortunate that we do. And, um, you know, there's people out here. You know, thinking about you and you guys made an impact on me. So um, I definitely want you to understand that. I'm not sure if you'll hear this podcast or not, but my condolences to how the family. Rest easy, my man. You take it easy. Don't mean to bring such a... um you know, somber type of mood, but you know, sometimes, you know, a passing like this could, it just, it just brings some clarity. And unfortunately, you know, there's, there's this clarity that I feel that I have, you know, and understanding again, there's no right or wrong decision when it comes to this type of disease. There's just none. Because the fact of the matter is, if it doesn't die, you know, it's going to get you. And at the end of the day, life's going to get you anyway. Because that's what happens. Live it good. Live it well. Live it with love. That's my time. Be sure to tune in on um, all of my social, you know, all my platforms, you know, whether it's social media, like, share, follow, subscribe. Um, if you feel like reaching out to me and being a guest on the show, please do so. Um, you can reach me at cancermyjourneymyway at gmail.com. That is cancermyjourneymyway at gmail.com. Um, and please do, again, like I said, reach out. Um, let me know what's up. Let me know your story. And we could talk about it, you know, and and maybe we, you could help somebody. I um, mean, that's what this podcast is all about. Just being able to reach one person. That's it. Speak your journey. Somebody needs help. Somebody needs to listen to you. If you ever want to talk, reach out to me. That's my time. Peace. 
love one.